Every day I'm uh, prayer in the morning. It's called Shacharit. And every Friday evening I'm going to the synagogue uh, for the Shabbat. Before every game, I'm reading the Quran. It's something just to relax me and give me the power from God, you know? When I come on the pitch, I say these few words. They have big meaning for me, you know, and also in our religion. When I'm growing up, coming from a small village, a lot of Muslim, a lot of Christian, I was afraid, but I feel sometimes, you know, I want to be in the side. I am a Jewish, he is a Muslim, and, it, you know, it doesn't matter for us. It all starts with the establishment of Israel, which was in 1948. So they're about to celebrate their 70th anniversary. And as soon as the, uh, the proposal was put forward to create a Jewish state, there was already a rejection from the Arab leaders. And as soon as the state was created, already there was an, there was an Arab-Israel war in 1948. And unfortunately, ever since, it has been disputed land. The Jews feel it's their right to be there, the Arabs feel it's their right to be there, and all of that kind of insurmounts into this situation which we currently find ourselves in. Um, it's, it's very complicated, it's very complex. It's probably the most disputed land on earth. A unique friendship, a special bond. Brighton and Hove Albion teammates Tom Ahmed and Bedam Kayal may have grown up with different beliefs, yet their friendship is one that refuses to be defined by boundaries. I'm from uh, Kiryat Ivon. It's a small town not far from uh, Haifa. One friend told me that some small football team, let's say, in the town uh, are open and uh, he told me come to try. When I got the feedback from the, the manager there and I saw how he uh, speak about me and how he's uh, excited, I realized that, uh, you know, maybe I have something special. It was kind of a dream for me to be part of Maccabi Haifa. And then uh, I found myself joining the club and start to play to the, you know, for the youth team. I live in a small village, it's about 20,000 people in the north of Israel. My name is Daidi Makar. My family was there for me to support me and then they sent me to the academy in Maccabi Haifa. And it wasn't easy as well to traveling every day from 11 or 12 years old, just leave the school early, catch the first train, so it wasn't easy. Biram is, uh, is one younger than me and everyone saw that uh, Biram is, you know, one of the best players in his age and he many times played with me. Well, you think, how can these two guys even come together? But when you actually go down there and meet them in person, you can see instantaneously the connection they have, the friendship, the warmth, it's incredible. Obviously, when you're young, 12, you're always looking for who's the best player there. And Tomer was the main man there. He's scoring goals for fun, and uh, everyone was speaking about him. In those days, I think we we made like we had the time to be closer. And since then, uh, of course, in the training every day, uh, in the first team, we were sharing the room together. Uh, in our birthday, the same day, just one year different. It's like kind of an amazing story, you know, to, we couldn't believe then that it will, it will be like that. When I was in Maccabi Haifa reading the Quran and everyone saw that, and told me praying for the Jewish and the Christian do, so probably is the first things we're getting from the academy in Maccabi Haifa. In 2010, Kyle left for Scottish Premier League side Celtic, a year later, Hemed moved to Mallorca. Then, in January 2015, the Seagulls came calling for Kyle, who duly made the move to the south coast of England. I've uh, been here two months, three months in the club. Probably last three, four weeks, we were sure in the league, and uh, the manager asked me to, co to come into his office. He asked me, what, what I'm thinking about Tom, I said to him, bring him straight away, pa. Then when he asked me about his quality, I said, if you want goals, you need to bring him. If you want some positive guy in the, around the area, you need to bring him. And if you want unbelievable professional, you need to bring him here. Yeah, it was funny because he, one day he called me and said, uh, Tom, uh, it can be interesting for you to come to Brighton. 
Then the club really want me and everything work well. Goes for the cross. Hemmed with the header. Israeli TV shows every Brighton match home and away live on Israeli TV. They have lots of media, lots of journalists come over to talk to them. They go back to Israel when they can. Um, so Israel is proud of them as the two players leading, you know, leading the light in the Premier League. And they're happy to be role models and to present the message that people of all different creeds and races can get on together, live side by side. Since I came here, you know, we are always together and we are sharing our life together, the family together. Our kids, they are in the same age. Uh, um, and they are the best friends. If you ask me before, I said is, is the main things and our dream to be playing in Europe and playing in the Premier League, of course, uh, is was the main things. But coming back together to enjoy our career, to enjoy our uh, hard work, and to show everyone our quality. You know, it's the best when you have someone to share your life, especially away from your family or country. So we are actually the family here together.